Today, my title for you that I've put together as we shall share the book of Genesis again, it's the valley of your life. We all have values in our own lives. Now, but today I want to invite you to come with me and we read now Genesis chapter 6, verses 16. A window shall thou make to the ark, and in a cubic shall thou finish it above, and the door of the ark shall thou set in the side thereof, with lower, second, and third story shall thou make it. We all know the story of the ark of known. But my focus is it's on the decks that God creates that tells Noah how to build it. And this is a very long text, but I want to focus only on this passage. He's created, he says, create the lower deck, the middle and the upper one. That is three stages of the life. Remember, number three is a very important number. Now, here it is an ark that has been built and it's finished. And God invites invite Noah to say, call all animals two by two to come into the ark. That is to invite everyone for salvation in another way. But then he says the three decks. Why three decks? He is positioning to say, those people that are in the lower class are invited. In the bottom side of your life, you are still invited. The middle class people are also invited, and the high class of people, they are also invited. So everyone is in the, invited in the eyes of God. But then it is very interesting. You will remember when Jonah ran away from going to Nineveh when he went to Tarshish. Where did he go? He went down to the bottom of the ship, and he went and lied down there. And therefore, uh, when Jesus Christ was in the ship also, where did he go? He went down to the bottom side, and he went there and slept. <clears throat> what does Christ symbolize? What does God, what is God saying to us? He's actually talking here that even when you have fallen into the lowest state of your life, your state can be resurrected. Your state can be reformed. Your state can be corrected. Your state can be revamped. You can become back into the top of your life. You can be brought back or be rejuvenated into the top of the best of who you can be. So I'm inviting you to understand this, that in your life, that can be brought back. God is willing. Why God created the ark is because there was too much evil under the sun. People were doing wrong things. They were doing wicked. And God says, I'm going to cause rain to fall. So people will be destroyed. But then I'm inviting every class to come. Whether you are in the lowest, whether it's in the midst of your life, whether even when everything is okay with you there on top, you still need to depend upon the Lord. You still need to consider the Lord the Savior of your life. So I'm inviting you, my friend, to stay connected with God. Come to the ark and find salvation. Come to the ark and find restoration. Come to the ark and find healing. Come to the ark and be safe from drowning. Come to the ark if you want to rebuild your life back together. Because in the ark, by the way, there are sort of all animals. In the ark where salvation was, things were not, not always good. Because why am I saying things were not always good? Right there for those 40 days and 40 nights. Those animals, probably it was stinking every corner, but that's where salvation was embedded. Probably no place of movement. You know, now we are living in a moment in a place where we are quarantined. Those guys were quarantined for 40 days and 40 nights. They were quarantined there, and it was stinking, it was bad, but salvation came. Those who were in the ark, while the situation in the ark was unpleasant, but they find salvation. Everyone who was outside drowned. Everyone who was outside did not make it because they couldn't stand the storm, the thunders, and all the rain that flooded and stayed in out there for 40 days and 40 nights. Come into the ark, even though it may be uncomfortable. The Lord is waiting for you to keep you there, and he is going to take you out, and you shall be cleansed, you shall make it, you shall be restored 
If you want your life to be restored, have a relationship with your Lord. Amen.